One challenge for many teachers worldwide is how to tell whether students actually understand what it is that we're asking them to understand. With the use of the internet, YouTube, etc., students are able to get answers to questions without knowing why they are correct. Sometimes, like in the case of mathematics, students can even source the solution steps to an answer so it appears they understand the process involved. What we need to do is re-evaluate the way that we assess mathematics, for example, and see whether we can create some foolproof strategies that require students to demonstrate and justify their understanding without relying on information they've found elsewhere. One amazing mathematical tool that we can use is Microsoft Mathematics. As you can see, it allows students to use a graphical calculator and draw graphs very easily. If a tablet PC is being used in the classroom, students can also ink straight onto their screen, like this. Microsoft Mathematics automatically translates the writing into typing. When students press Enter, it gives them the solution steps, just like a calculator would, but using text or inking as the input. Some students might use these solution steps to answer a question without solving it. From here, it would be very easy to just write down these steps into a traditional piece of maths assessment. So let's have a look at how we might challenge that and still have the student justify their understanding of the concept. Let's go back into Microsoft OneNote and write the equation on the top of a page. I could ask students who I don't think understand how to solve this to record a video of them solving this equation and talking through each step as they progress. This is very easy to do using Microsoft's Community Clip software, which sits down at the bottom of the toolbar. Simply define a region of the screen and anything within that region will be recorded in a video. So when I press OK, it will start recording and I'm going to pretend I'm a student. So this is what I think needs to be done in this mathematical challenge. I need to try to get x on its own because I need to work out the value of x. I know that x squared has had 4 added to it, so I'm going to take that 4 away, like so. If I do that to one side of my red dotted line, I need to do that to the other. I now have x squared equals 40 minus 4, which is 36. Now I need to square root x squared because I need to get rid of the squared. And if I do that to one side, I need to do it to the other. So eventually, a student who understands will end up with x equals plus or minus 6 as their response to this question. They can then stop recording and will have created a video like this. If we get the student to save that video, then we will have a record of not only their answer and their solution steps, but also their thinking as they went through this problem. I've saved that video now. I would then ask students to put that video onto this piece of paper in Microsoft OneNote. Now I can see the question they were set and the writing they did to solve it. But if they insert the video by just dragging and dropping it straight onto our OneNote page, I can also see if they understand the process. I can view this video at any time and see them talk through the demonstration of their understanding. This method allows me, as a mathematics teacher, to have a much better gauge of student understanding. I can see whether or not they truly understand the process required to solve the mathematical question at hand.